what up YouTube so what I've been doing the past say week or so is I've been setting up a clownfish breeding program so as you can see here I've got my phytoplankton going this one on the left is a day older than this one on the right um got my clownfish fry a uh, little raisin tank until they're about 20 days old then they're gonna go to a 40 gallon breeder set up with a 40 gallon breeder sump this is my rotifers it's day three of you know starting these so tonight I'm gonna split this in half so I can have two five gallon uh, cultures of rotifers going um, right now I'm actually painting a 20 gallon high tank and it's gonna go you know right here right next to my reef tank my little mini reef tank and there's my little pico that I'm actually getting rid of today but yeah let's check it out and uh, I've got I think it's called a fancy white smudgy oscillaris or something like that as the fish and the female fish is a uh, is a uh, black snowflake but is that raining oh no that ain't good it's raining huh uh, maybe it's just a gutter I don't know it looks like it's raining though or about to it looks nasty but anyways I gotta get this tank in if it's raining um, here's the tank 20 gallon high I'm sure y'all seen it before you know what I'm talking about but uh, this is gonna be the front so I'm painting the both sides the back and even the bottom so you know I could have them uh, breeding just in there and uh, I'm also gonna put a lightning maroon pair in there to breed as well so I might put some egg crate as the spacer I got some of that right there but so I can have two I'm going at once yeah that's it so far Let's see if we can see the lightning maroon we spin around Okay, I'm sure I'm making all y'all throw up right now. Oh, lightning maroon, that's what we're looking at. Uh, yeah, let's see. Maybe a little too dark to see him. Maybe not. Wherever he is. Or she. I'm hoping it's going to be a she. There, there she is. Right there. Yeah, it's super grainy, but you get the idea. She looks really nice. Super nice fish. She's probably two and a half inches or so, so I'm sure she's old enough. And the other clownfish, the lightning maroon that I'm getting is one and a half inches, so... He's still unsexed and hopefully he turns to male. But yeah, this is my setup. And I hope to get some nice fish out of this. And I'm really hoping for some uh, Mocha Vinci. I think that's what it are. Mocha Da Vinci, I think that's, yeah, that's what they're called. But yeah, let me show you a uh, picture or a video here of the clownfish. So these are the two clownfish that they are a breeding pair and I bought them as a breeding pair. So they're laying eggs about every two weeks, you know, roughly, give or take. And uh, they're laying in the ceramic pot, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to mimic, you know, their tank, their breeding tank of their previous owner. So... 
And I'm also getting the other Lightning Maroon from him as well. So they'll be all used to breeding tanks and hopefully I can get them going and raise some little baby clownfish.